You know, the exciting part about doing the Massey lecture research was finding out things that after all these years as a journalist, I thought I, I had pretty much covered every study done on women, but I found more. For example, you know that old adage about man the hunter? Well, it's bogus. There is no evidence to say that a woman was not hunting right beside him, which means to us that women's history is flawed. And these wonderful anthropologists and archaeologists that are working on this today include women. And they explained to me that the early work was done by men and they did their work on men. It's not as though they wanted to hurt women, they just didn't consider the women. And they did it all on men and that created the presumptions we've used about women ever since that we're on the side, we're not important, we're not useful enough. And that's a terribly loud message for us to consider. You know, we know it even to today that women are on the side and not considered medical research, for example always did their research on men, not on women. They didn't want a woman's menstrual cycle getting in the way of the results. So it wasn't until I think about 10 years ago that they realized a woman having a heart attack, a woman having a stroke, has different symptoms to a man and needs different treatment. That started a movement to start looking at medical research around women. Imagine, only 10 years ago, consider this, the crash test dummy is a man. So his pelvis is in a different place to my pelvis, and he sits farther back from the wheel than I sit. So all that expense and all that research and work done on vehicle safety is done for men, not for women. I mean, a pregnant woman with a seat belt? This is a problem. We've never solved it. Women working in construction, she can't get a glove that fits her. Um, a woman in the military cannot get a flak jacket that goes over her breasts. A woman in construction boots can't get a boot small enough. So these issues have traveled with us and it's a matter of sidelining half the population. My favorite story happened just recently. In March of 2019, we were to have an all-woman spacewalk. It was to be historic. There'd be women controlling the desk at NASA and two women astronauts at the space station walking in space together, all women. And an hour before they were to go out there, they discover they only have one astronaut suit that fits a woman. Can you imagine? It's 2019. So they had to scrub it. So a man and a woman did that spacewalk. But I thought it was a spectacular example of how easy it is to sideline half the population and how much we need to pay attention to the changes that need to happen because we know it's better for both of us.